Hey guys, welcome to Doug Will Fix It. We're in the E46 3 Series 2003 model um, convertible and I'm going through my programming series to show you how to program specific options. Some of these options I had in my other cars, so um, I'd like to have them on this car and they are available, but they just need to be enabled from the in, in on the car's uh, internal software. Usually you'd have to go to BM to do that and maybe they'd even charge you on there's other people that, you know, third party specialist that can do that for you but um i'll show you how you can do that um at home so what i have is i have this uh carly bmw um obd n2 adapter let me just quickly show you it so this is it uh i can't remember how much it costs it's not that much um you can actually get it online from carly themselves on amazon probably ebay anywhere and this is a standard obd 2n port right most cars i think from 1996 onwards have this port so you can read general diagnostics and stuff as well um, but this one um, can read the general diagnostics but also a whole host of uh, specific details on this car um, and um, i have the carly bmw app enabled as well to to actually connect to this so i'm going to connect this up to the car now and then uh, we'll get this started. By the way, for the e older older BMWs, I've had to also get this adapter that the Carly plugs into, which then actually plugs into the car. Um, but on most newer ones, like I used to use just this on my X5 E70, and it worked fine on its own. But for the E46 uh, 3 Series, the E39 um, 5 Series, you need to get that little adapter. But I think you can now get a, a third gen Carly adapter. This is the second gen, and that works on anything, uh, as far as I know. Anyway, let's get this plugged in and we'll get the app connected so that you can see the app is ready to go. It just needs to actually connect to the device and then we can actually program in um, what we're gonna do. So today what we're gonna do is program in the settings for um, when you drive off, I want the doors to lock automatically. Um, so there's a specific option for that, but there's a couple of settings you need to enable for that to work. So we're gonna run through what those are. So let me get this plugged in and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the device is now connected and what we're gonna do is connect the app to the device using over Bluetooth. So it's already paired. So you need to make sure you do all the pairing and stuff beforehand. I'm not gonna run you through how to pair it. You should, that should be straightforward for you guys. We're gonna connect. Okay, it says you're already connected, brilliant. If you say we're connected, even better. Uh, so we're gonna to go to customizations, check compatibility. Battery is fine. Let's see if it connects. Okay, it's lost. So let's just start the app again and then we'll connect it. Disconnect actually. Let's connect, connect, and we have okay, it's found the adapter straight away. That's quick, it's quicker than usual. Great, and now it's ready to actually do some work. So we're going to go to BMW or Blink when so, like, that's an example of what you can code. Uh, yeah, please. Compatible ECUs. My battery is actually pretty good, so I don't need to worry about that. Now, before you actually start coding, Carly will actually create a backup of whatever set. So it's found three ECUs, which are all compatible. Okay. So it's the GM5 LSZ for the lighting switching center and the seat memory module. So if we go to GM5, so what we're going to do is we want to enable uh, the car to automatically lock the doors as you drive off. Yeah. Um, so when you actually say read, it actually creates a backup. So if anything goes wrong, you can always restore from the backup. I've also paid for the Carly BMW subscription that gives me, uh, allows me to connect and give me all sorts of extra options for any BMW. And you have to pay for that, obviously. So we're gonna, sc we're gonna scroll through the settings to where we wanna be. Just bear with me. So if you look here now, right? There's a couple of options you can see on the screen. So threshold speed for vehicle locking. So what is the speed at which the vehicle will lock? So 10 miles an hour, 16 kilometers. And you can also see lock vehicle on X KPH. So that's the key one to enable. So that's actually already on. You can see that, right? Lock is on. And that was actually off when I bought the car. Secondly, I did that and it didn't work. And then I realized what I need to do is actually enable it for the key. So. I, you know, it assumes that there's four keys, potentially four keys for this car. So I just said all of them on. So keys on, key one is on, key two is on, key three is on, and key four is on. Once you do that, as you drive off, it will lock at 10 miles an hour. So you can actually change the speed. If you want to change the speed, there's a couple of options. Look, uh, two miles an hour, five miles an hour, 
So there's a whole host of speeds that you can actually activate. And I've got it for 10, which is actually spot on, spot on perfect for me. Once you set the options you want, you just hit code car and Carly BMW will do the rest. The app will do the rest. And then when you restart the car, that those options will be coded into the uh, ECUs for this car, the GM5. And that's basically it. And I've tried it, and uh, you know, I've tried it a, while, a couple of times now. I did it. I did it last week. So every time I drive the car, when we drive off, the doors will automatically lock. It's good, especially when you've got kids and stuff in the car as well. So it, it makes sense. But um, that's really it for that video. Uh, thanks for watching. Love, like the like the video. Sub the channel. Any comments, just hit me up on the comment screen, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.